Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we got to hang out with our friends a bit more. Nothing too plot heavy happened, but we are getting much closer to the full moon operation. And so in this episode, we're just going to make sure time passes, hang out with our friends as much as we can, and then get ready to fight our next boss fight. Hey, hey you got a sec? I know that sautéed chicken I messed up. You know that sautéed chicken I messed up last time? I figured out what went wrong. This time I'm going to do it right. Wanna help? Come on, anyone can do it. Thanks. Let's get cooking. Awesome, let's go make something tasty. Alright, this should be enough. There was a program on TV the other day showing how to make tender chicken breasts. Slice against the grain, marinate it in sauce, and then cook gently at a low temperature. I'm gonna reclaim my pride today. Just you wait. Good luck. Thanks, you can count on me. I'll make it so good, you'll be asking for seconds. So, we have to wash our hands first, and then you're in charge of the rice and veggies. I made chicken saute with Yuri. Or, Yukari. Mm. What? So tender and juicy. Way better than last time. See? This is what I'm capable of. I knew I could do it if I tried. <laughs> I can tell you like it too. <laughs> that look on your face says it all. I couldn't help but laugh when you started wolfing it down. Oh, but you didn't actually say yum. Hmm. Anyway, let's eat up. We still have cleaning to do after this. Ah, crap, okay. Forgot to mention, yesterday was July 3rd, which is the birthday of Ryuji Sakamoto from Persona 5. Uh, in 2009, he'd be 10 years old. And if you'll remember, there was that theory that people had before Reload came out that uh, the little boy at the track team with Yuko was was Ryuji. Anyways, there's also a birthday today that we have to celebrate, but I'll wait till we get back to the dorm to do that. Morning. You know, it's gonna be a full moon soon. Doesn't that make you nervous? No, it doesn't. <sighs> oh yeah? You're always so calm, Yuki-kun. Well, I guess I have to do this no matter what. Ooh, new dialogue from Yukari. <sighs> I thought about everything, Yuki-kun. I don't think we have a choice. We have to do this no matter what. Must suck being unconscious. I mean, you don't even know if you'll wake up or not. I guess that's true. <laughs> there is kind of a bit of... I don't know if tonal whiplash is the correct term, but there is some weirdness in the fact that... Uh, dirt that we just had like a fun hangout with Yukari, where it's like, oh yeah, we're hanging out, having food, and having a fun time, and now that we're back at school, she's just like, okay, gotta get serious again. Gotta contemplate life and be all weird and stuff like that. Uh, we just have Fuka to hang out with. We the only other people there are Chihiro and Yuko, which we can't level up yet. So, Fuka it is. I have a favor to ask. Could you come with me to Polonia Mall on the way home? Going there alone makes me feel a little nervous. At this rate, we might get to Fuka's uh, romance option before we get to anyone else's. Hello, Yuki-kun. If you're leaving now, would you like to go shopping with me? Thank you. Thank you. Let's head to Polonia Mall. Sorry for taking so long. I wanted to buy something to use as a secret ingredient in my cooking. But I couldn't really decide, and I wasn't sure how to use whatever I'd buy. Uh, start with the basics first. You're right! I haven't even gotten the basics down yet. I'm getting way too ahead of myself. First thing I need to do is find something that I can actually make. I'm still having a lot of trouble getting things right, but I can't give up yet. Not after all your support. And it's not like I have any other redeeming qualities. The best option to say here is you're a hard worker. That's not true at all. I mean, everyone in our group works hard. And beyond that, I think you all have something that you're good at. Not me. I mean, I guess I'm sort of good with machines, but that's it. It's honestly not worth mentioning. Really, I just happen to like them. It's not exactly something worth boasting about. When I was little, I remember my dad's hobby was to work on complicated sound equipment. He'd fix things like broken amplifiers or headphones that only played sound on one side. 
I've always loved watching him work on those things. That's probably why I was drawn to working with machines in the first place. But I don't think that would be very useful to repay everyone's kindness. Plus, if we do ever have any technical needs, like when we're fighting, then we've always got the Kirijo group support. Not to mention that I'm kind of embarrassed about it all. I mean, it's not a very feminine hobby. Best option to say here is, that's not true. Later. Thank you. I sure seem to talk about my problems a lot, huh? I wonder why it's so easy talking to you. I feel like you stop me from being so negative all the time. Actually, I might owe a lot to you in that sense. I think Fuka trusts me now. It seems we've grown closer. Oh, it's getting late. Sorry, I didn't mean to talk so much. Let's go home. You probably already know this, but the next full moon will be on Tuesday of next week. I'm sure some kind of shadow will show up. Please be ready. Okay, we could hang out with Junpei, but Sonata's actually going to be on our team, so we'll hang out with him in just a sec. Uh, by, the way, by the way, the next full moon will be on July 7th, the same as Tanabata. Honestly, I have no idea what to expect for this upcoming battle, but we'll just have to, pl but we'll just have to be ready for anything. Better to play it safe. Do you know how to use the DVD player here? I thought I might might as well use it once in a while. I have this compilation of some of the greatest matches between boxing legends. Watching professional techniques like this will surely help us in our own battles. Ah, if only we actually needed courage at the moment. Why couldn't this up charm? Yes. Uh, let's watch it together. All right, let's start watching. Just from looking at a single jab, you can tell how different everything is at the top level. And not only are both fighters strong, they each have their own unique fighting style. What kind of fighter is your favorite? A fighter with slick footwork. I get that. The essence of boxing is to land hits without getting hit yourself. I tend to rely on footwork in my matches too. But someday, I'm hoping to master the style of infighting. Now that I'm watching these again, I can see there's a lot to learn from professional matches. Plus, when I do it here, I have someone to discuss things with. Let's do this again next time you're free. I feel like my courage has improved from watching all these boxing matches. I guess you'll just get to see what it's like when you level up a stat and nothing happens. I, it's just like any other time. Man, watching those guys fighting is making it hard for me to sit still. You want to head to my room and wail in the punching bag for a bit? Got a few messages. Oh gosh, okay. It's finally time for me to make a decision. Who am I going to choose to romance on this playthrough? I don't know why I'm agonizing over this so much because the decision wasn't really mad doesn't really matter, but I'm going to take a second to think. Okay, I've made a decision. So, going through both of these choices in my head, I've thought about both and both both of them are good choices because both have shared interests like uh, Makoto and Chihiro both like manga and um, Yuko and Makoto both like physical activity and both have sort of like some fun romantic dialogue like how Chihiro asks for someone who's totally a friend of hers whether or not um, she's fallen in love and then Yuko has had a talk with Yuko has had several talks with us that are like totally hinting at the fact that she has a crush on us but after all of this deliberating I finally made my decision the person who I'm going to romance on my let's play of Persona 3 Reload is Yuko and the, rain, the main reason that I'm choosing to romance her is because first of all she was the first ever woman that we have that we became friends with that wasn't a member of C's. And second of all, on my original playthrough, I romanced Chihiro. So just so I, could, I myself can see new dialogue, 
I'm going to go ahead and choose to romance Yuko this time. No matter who you pick, though, if you're like me and you only want to date one girl, it sucks because you then have to choose to uh, not go out with every other girl and reject them all whenever they confess their feelings for you. Which, that's going to suck when we get around to it eventually. But anyways, how's it going, Yuko? You can have mine if you're still hungry. D don't worry, I'm not feeling sick or anything like that. Oh. Hey, Yukikun, you got some sauce around your mouth. Okay, this is another example of an event that I can't find any, like, documentation on online. Like, everywhere I look, it doesn't mention the existence of this hangout at all. So, I'm gonna make my best guess, and if I mess it up, I'm gonna see if I can use the rewind feature to, uh, to bring us back here. Now, if I had to think strategically, I don't want to say will you wipe it off for me, because that seems like too forward and kind of creepy. The first two seem like boring options, and the third one seems too creepy. I'll say oh thanks. Yeah. Okay, thank god. You're welcome. Oh. Aren't you gonna wipe it off? It's kind of bugging me. Yuko seems to be enjoying herself. Learned a little more about her today. Oh, that's right. Oh, hey, since we're already at the strip mall, maybe I'll stop by the bookstore on my way home. What? You surprised? <laughs> well, yeah, I admit I'm not really the bookish type. After Yuko headed back to the bookstore, decided to head back to the dorm. I don't know if... Because, like, guides online are usually super thorough. And I couldn't find any videos on YouTube or anything like that, and there weren't any text guides or anything like that mentioning this. So maybe it's an example of, like, all of the options being correct, but I just couldn't find any examples of it existing online. So if any of you, uh, know what happens if you choose any of the other options, let me know if I chose the correct option or if all of them were correct or whatever. We're just two days away from the next full moon. I still have no idea what battle we should expect, but let's try to prepare ourselves the best we can. Better safe than sorry. I wonder what the next shadow will be like. I bet it's... I bet it'll be stronger than the other one so far. Yeah, makes sense. We're in a video game, so... Progression makes sense here. Mm. Two days left. Don't slack on your training until last minute, okay? I know people sometimes feel like they've hit their limit, but for most people, that's just an excuse. In reality, they've just given up. No matter how much you're suffering, pushing through it is the only path to real progress. The shadows just keep getting stronger, huh? Even if we train harder, it's always gonna end up in a close match, right? Reality is harsh, man. What if we hit our limit one day and get our asses kicked? That'd be totally lame. We could hang out with Mitsuru today. I've already read most of the books here. Oh, are you here to look for book two? The ones in this section are a little difficult, though. Oh, and this will help improve our academics, too, so... Yeah, we're actually getting something out of this. Yes, please. All right, I'll go grab that book for you. I didn't put a lot of thought into what books I brought. I just took whatever caught my attention. I apologize. I should have asked what your preferences were beforehand. If you don't mind my asking now, what kinds of books do you usually read? Uh, I'm gonna say novels because I assume that's what you'd like to hear. Oh, do you now? I'm partial to historical fiction myself. I actually read a lot of it. I'm rather fond of novels. All you have to do is turn the page to experience another person's life. That reminds me, Yamagishi mentioned liking novels as well. I never inquired further, but maybe she'd make for a good reading partner. Incidentally, the books I brought today are things like biographies and history books. I can attest that they're all worthwhile reads. Rather accessible ones, too. I hope you find them to your liking. Oh my, you're really tearing through the pages. I'm impressed by your focus. By diving into a world unknown, my academics have improved. <sighs> it's nice to spend some time reading quietly together like this. Thank you. That made for a relaxing evening. Well then, it's about time we return to our rooms. Good night. 
What's up? Tomorrow's the big day. And that's right. Yeah. I got butterflies in my stomach. You know, like right before a big match. Now I know how Sonata-san feels before he gets in the ring. Alright, last hangout before we head off. Guess we'll hang out with Fuka again. Might as well. Do you have time? I've been thinking about what we talked about last time. If you have some time, I'd like for you to see my progress. Hope you're feeling hungry. And I assume that's... It's either a, a... I assume that's a cat emoji? I mean, I could also see an argument for it being a wolf, but that looks most like a cat to me. Oh, Yuki-kun, do you have any plans today? I have a favor to ask if you have the time. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see then. How about we go to the roof? The view up there is so nice. So, there's actually something I want you to try. And this time, it isn't just for a taste test. I think you'll actually be able to eat it. Wait, uh, maybe I said the same thing last time. Well, now I mean it. Fuka presents me with a bento box. There are rice balls wrapped in seaweed inside. They smell good. I decide to try one. It's edible, at least. The rice tastes good, and it has just the right amount of seasoning. In fact, I'd go so far as to say it's delicious. Well, how is it? Best option to say here is, you did a great job. Really? I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you. You know how I said I was having trouble with cooking? Well... I decided to try and find a recipe that even I couldn't mess up. And after a lot of consideration, I thought maybe making rice balls is something I could handle. But then I got really absorbed in how simple they are to make, yet still so hard to master. I made some rice balls today in home economics class too. I know it's a little silly to make something so basic in high school, but it was all I could manage. But then. Everyone in the class told me they were really good, though. Anyways, I've been really looking forward to have you try one. I wanted you to see how much progress I've made. Because I don't think I could have made it this far without you. Best option to say here is, I'm glad I could help. Thanks. I know I've said this before, but when I'm with you and the rest of the team, I'm able to see things more positively. And I think the most important thing is the feeling of wanting to make others happy. That might be the reason why I made such good rice balls. Because I was thinking about who was going to eat them. Best option to say here is, can you make some- can you make more sometime? Of course! Just let me know anytime you want some. Um, I just wanted to say... Thank you so much. Really. Fuka seems to really appreciate me. Our relationship is getting deeper. So it turns out, there's actually a trick to making good rice balls. The first thing to note is while you're washing the rice... I spend the day listening to Fuka's tips on making rice balls. I decided to go back to the dorm. Sup, dude? Tomorrow's the day. If we lose, the city gets overrun with the lost, right? We gotta win this, no matter what. You down for hitting Tartarus later? I wanna pack on some muscle. Oh, oh that's right, Yuki-kun. For tomorrow, I think I'll just have you stand at the door- Stand by at the dorm, just in case. So, if there are any preparations you need to make, please take care of them today. Come to think of it, the crops I planted on the rooftop should be ready to harvest by now. Other than that, though, I don't think we have anything else we need to do, so thank you guys so much for watching, and in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and finally take on the next big boss fight. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!